Namaste, noble warriors. This is big stuff. I am about to impart to you one of my most treasured and secret teachings of holistic fitness. Utterly unique. They're called the High Performance Yoga Prop Workouts. I am about ready to impart to you a general practice in this completely mind-blowing and mind-focusing workout. Let me go over a few key points of this practice. Number one, I need you to kind of step out of the traditional yoga asana practice mindset. It's almost like you're about ready to be in the gym doing a strength training workout with barbells and dumbbells. At points, the practice becomes so difficult Getting hit with a bamboo stick seems <laughs> a lot uh, less painful. I need you to encounter this workout with the wisdom gained throughout your life experience. Don't push. Also, do not feel obligated to do the deep ujjayi breathing throughout the entire practice. Because of the uh, unique uh, intra-abdominal and intra-thoracic pressures that accompany this type of practice, you don't need to stay with the ujjayi breathing the entire time. Feel free to breathe through the mouth or you can use a cleansing breath. Remember, deep nasal inhale, <sighs> mouth exhale, okay? As your practice matures, a higher percentage of the class might be able to be done with Ujjayi breathing continuously. Again, do not feel obligated to do Ujjayi breathing all the way through. I would like to go over very slowly some brief uses of our primary tool in prop workouts. The yoga block. Now this is a special yoga block and it's a yoga block that I embrace. It's a, I endorse this particular yoga block. It is unique and you, they're available through uh, yogapro.com. What's unique about them is this high compression material that is sandwiched between a slightly softer material on the outside. Because in prop workouts, we use these blocks like dumbbells, they support, they need to support the body weight much more so than a traditional yoga class. So again, you can use a regular yoga foam block. However, I do uh, embrace these. Now I'm gonna get up, stand up in a moment here and show you a couple of the positions in which I use these blocks and the reasons why. One of the reasons that I use these blocks is to deepen our understanding, our kinetic our uh, kinesthetic understanding of some of the internal locks found in yoga, such as Mula Bandha, Ashwini Mudra, and Uddiyana Bandha. If I say, for example, I need you to bring an ankle block, that means placing a yoga block between the ankles, just like that. If, on the other hand, I might say we need a thigh block, I, that means inserting and sandwiching and compressing another block between the thighs. Now look at what is happening and you can start to sense the wisdom of this approach. To compress the block, my femur, my thigh bone, has to spiral inward. When the thigh bone spirals inward, of course, that's what deepens Mula Bandha, the root. I've had students take these yoga class, these prop workouts, and for the first time say, oh my gosh, coach, I finally understand what Mula Bandha feels like. You see, it's a completely wise integration of Western sport physiology principles with Eastern tradition. You're gonna love this stuff. It builds strength and a deep fiber power like nothing before and it transfers so perfectly over into sport, into regular yoga classes, and more importantly, into personal growth, because this stuff focuses your mind. 
I think that's about it. One other note is that you'll, you might be seeing me move around uh, changing directions. I'm doing that just because I want to give you, the viewer, the best vantage, the best perspective. However, you just line yourself up on your yoga mat at home, follow me along. When you see me moving, I'll coach you through it. You just kind of stay in that one direction, okay? I hope you have your high-performance yoga sweat towel nearby. You might see me kind of look off camera. What I'm looking at is a clock. After you kind of get grooved to these workouts, you too will be able to use a clock because many of the movements are timed. You don't count repetitions or things like that. Once again, I truly and deeply honor that part of you that chooses to be here. This is a sacred teaching of holistic fitness. It's completely unique. It's mine. I've been using this for over 13 years, and it has completely been instrumental in my athletic and my yogic successes. And I look forward to the years ahead sharing a variety of these prop workouts. They're getting quite a bit of uh, attention these days, and you're about ready to find out why. Let's get to the practice. I bow to you. Good luck. Let's have some fun. Namaste. Namaste. Let's begin the practice. It's traditional in prop workouts to begin with training the core. So look forward to several minutes of abdominal training right off the bat. Use this time to deepen the senses, to draw them within your practice. Let's begin. I need, a, uh, I need you to have an ankle block and a thigh block. Assume a abdominal crunch position. So I have sandwiched, here look, I'll turn for you. This is how it's gonna look. Thigh block, ankle block positioned vertically. <clears throat> Fingers interlaced behind head. Take a timing here. On your mark, get set, let's roll. not going to be a high gloss. <sighs> Production here. It's going to be the real stuff. You're going to hear me grunting. You're going to hear me breathing. My dialogue is going to be just enough to guide us capably through this workout. Go ahead. Join me now. Now, right off the bat, on a couple of moments here of technique on these abdominal crunches, on high compression, on onto both the ankle block and the thigh block, on on the exhale accompanies. Oh man, on it accompanies the ascent, and the inhale accompanies the descent. One, what's key oh, is the thigh bone stays perpendicular. Right angle at the knee, right angle at the ankle. Oh, and my fingers are deeply interlaced, not like that. Deeply. Elbows wide. Hot. One, one, I want you to hold the top position and squeeze. Now look, lower back is pressed down here. So there's a curve, there's a roundedness to the lower spine. Strong abdominal contraction here. In fact, 
Go ahead and plug your fingertips into the abdominal core. Feel those muscles grip, okay? Now, don't lose the tension of those abdominals. Come on. And then, keeping the tension in the abdominals, slowly like a drawbridge, there's your yin. There's your female extension down. Come on. Nothing has been lost here. Come on. And then you come up. Come on. So it's a squeeze, peak contraction, and then a lowering of resistance. Come on. So the tension never leaves the abdominals. Come on. Keep doing that, but I'm going to demonstrate what most people do oh, if they're not trained correctly here. They'll come up, they'll get a good contraction up here, but then watch. They'll just simply release all the tension. So they're only getting 50% of the effort. Oh, here, I'm coaching you to keep this tension here. It's like a drawbridge, lowering. Oh, Oh, and if you just keep doing these, just you only need a few, really, and you'll get a huge oh, training effect. Oh, very nice. Three seconds, two, one, and let's take our first recovery phase. During these recovery phases, this is a fantastic time to try to bring ujjayi breathing. You can start with a cleansing breath, deep nasal inhale, and a mouth exhale. That'll lower the heart rate. And then you can go ahead and move into the ujjayi breathing, that deep back of the throat breath, only through the nose. So use these recovery periods to slowly deepen your ujjayi awareness. Okay, we have five seconds until the next set of abdominals. Let's begin. Fingers interlaced, one, and begin, one. Oh yeah, there's the abdominals right there. One, 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 one. Okay, extend the legs. Oh, oh man, one, 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 one. Now find your right elbow, right elbow, right elbow, and guide it toward the left knee. One, one, uh, one, one, keep uh, compressing that thigh block and the ankle block. Look at how strongly flexed my feet are. One, oh man, one, one, one. This reminds me of chopping wood in Colorado. One, I used to chop up the one, oh. 11 to 12 cords of wood for the winter. One. And this is like swinging the axe. Oh, fantastic training for the transverse area abdominus, one of the pivotal muscles uh, of any uh, movement of the body. Okay, good. Let's go back and down with crunches. Oh, man. Come on, Elk. Uh, see how, feet, how my, my feet got lazy there? Uh, I had to use willpower. Uh, just like you, oh, and get back to the integrity form. Oh, straight legs. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh man. Oh man. Find the left elbow. One. Oh, get it over to the right knee. Left elbow. Right knee. One. And now chop your tree. One. Sa. Sa. Many of you will recognize that sa sound. Those of you that have studied with me through the years, you'll know that uh, saw is a sacred uh, uh, symbol uh, and syllable. Uh, uh, saw, saw. And when the ego mind starts to fatigue on me, uh, uh, I default saw, saw, uh, to the sacred. Saw, saw, saw. Good. Abdominal crunches. Oh man. Oh man. What? 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 I'm starting to get into the zone here. What? Cheese starting to flow, baby. What? What? Okay, good. Let me take a time reading here. Oh man. Whew. Three, two, one. Down. Whew. Keep bringing the blocks slowly. One. Lift the hips. <sighs> Cleansing breath. Now look. Look at the wisdom 
Come on. You're not going to lose the blocks here. Interlace the fingers underneath the sacrum. And we come into Setubanda Shavanganasana of yoga. Oh, and squeezing the thigh blocks, the ankle blocks, allowing the internal root to express herself in the way of the breath. Sacrum is floating here. Oh, and we slowly release down. Third set. Oh, abdominal core. Time reading. One. Oh, oh, baby. One. Oh, you don't need anything fancy. One. Oh, you don't need $10,000 abdominal machines in the gym. One. Oh, you need 2.2 ounce foam blocks. One. Oh, and something called willpower. Oh, and focus. Right elbow, left knee. Left elbow, right knee, alternate, and chop down your tree. Sa, 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 sa. Keep moving. I'm going to switch position here. One, 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 one. One, one, good. Release. Take the elbows overhead and now spin the hips. Swivel them side to side like this. Whew. Whew. If you want more work, work the tailbone off the earth. This is a snowboarding movement. One, 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 one. And back down. One, swivel. Good. Now keep both feet turned to the left. Interlace the thumbs. One. Both feet turn to the left, legs straight, and now dive up and down. Oh man, for that little pinky toe. Your legs are manifesting the ego, and they're gonna to wanna to drift away from you. Oh God, come on, Elk. Come on, Elk. Come on, Elk. Drive, drive. One. I hear Britney Spears does 10,000 of these a day. Huh. I guess we can do a couple more. Uh, 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 good. Okay, elbows, swivel. What I'm working here for you is the tensor fascia lata muscle and some of the deeper pelvic tie-ins, one, which stay constricted, one, one. This swiveling movement opens them, promotes elasticity. Throughout the pelvic girl, turn the feet to the left, I mean to the right, interlace thumbs, dive up and down for that left little toe. Oh man, oh, midsection, totally getting maxed here. Oh, Pre-fatiguing the core. So when we go to the other movements, oh, we have to use inner nautic lines, subtle energy lines. Oh, oh, one, oh, look at, almost lost that block. Oh, Fatigue factor high. One, one. Release abdominal crunches. One, 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 and stop. Let's drift down. Keep the thigh blocked. Keep the ankle block, and slowly lift the hips. Whew. Tuck the shoulders under and puff out the heart. One. Go within. Hmm. Hmm. Ah! Let's go, noble warriors. Interlace thumbs oh, and lay the buttocks onto oh, the top of the hands. Chin to chest, elevate the legs, the leg raises. Oh man, notice how I'm plugging in my fingertips here. Oh, looking down the chest, one oh, further engages the abdominal plates. Huh. They're actually called the tendinous inscriptions in between the abdominal plates. One, and that is what becomes unsupported in people that don't do this type of stuff. And that's what allows the ha core to weaken and lower back pain. One, huh. starts to manifest, take care of the core. One, before it's too late. Huh. Oh man, hold and hover, hold and hover. Hold and hover. Hmm. 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 
Bend the knees. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now lay the head back. Chin to chest. Release, release the thigh block. And very slowly. One. Try to open the hips here. Try to open the hips here. Let the knees come wide. Interlace the thumbs. One. Ah. 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 And reach. It's hard to talk. Oh, forgive me. One. Ah. I'm developing my chi. Ah. Which I hope you are too. And what I'm trying to do is lift this block toward my chin. One. Meanwhile, explosively, oh, I'm trying to reach my hands past the block. Oh, oh, come on, noble ones. Drive, 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 drive. Forget the block. One, one, one. Very good. Well, now start bicycling the legs. Start bicycling the legs like this. Oh, oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh. 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 One, one, one. Now every time your left knee comes up, one, slap it on the inside one, with your right elbow like this. One, 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 one. Stick like glue. One. Leg raises right. Oh man, come on, elk. Come on, elk. One, one. One, one, back to bicycle. Do you hear those cleansing breaths? One, deep nasal inhales, mouth exhales is what I'm doing here. Every time your right knee comes up, hit it. On the inside is the left elbow. One, 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 one. One, one, sa, 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 stick, leg raises. One, bicycle. Whew. Make this an endurance event. Whew. Like you're climbing Alp d'Huez, you're racing Lance Armstrong up the Alp d'Huez time trial. He wouldn't stop, would he? Huh? Either must you. Huh? 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 Oh, come on. Huh? Huh? Come on. Huh? Okay, we're about ready to do the most famous Nordic ski training exercise of all time. I call them Norwegian ski countries. Huh? Hmm. They got me to the junior national Nordic team. Huh. They can get you deeper into yourself, I'm sure. Slap the inside of the knees with the opposite elbow every time they come up. Good luck. Let's go. I want to hear that elbow hitting on the knee. transitions. Huh. Transitions are everything in HP yoga. Huh. Prop workouts maximize this notion of being quick on the transitions. Huh. I want you to take a look at how I have my hand positioned on this block real quick. Use the palm. Here's the palm and here's a little bevel on this yoga block. Just nestle that wrist joint right onto that bevel. Look at how I get to save the fingers here and directly lengthen through the arms. 
One, into a downward dog. And look at how squeezing this thigh block accentuates the lumbar lower dorsus, freeing up the pelvis, allowing the chain of the vertebra to lighten it. Good. Very slowly. One, bend the elbows on the inhale, exhale. Straighten up. Hold top position. Inhale, bend the knees only two inches above the earth. Exhale, extend. Now you're starting to understand one, how I made it to five world championships in four different sports. It's all about training the core. One, the conventionally trained people, they'll just keep doing the same sport one, in holistic fitness. Ah, we train the core. One, back to the arms. And then we transfer that into any sport we wish to dance in. That's why we can climb rocks, ski, ride bikes. We can dance, baby. Because we got the core back to the legs. Now we're going to alternate. One, legs, arms. Back to down dog, breathe. I'm going to switch, you guys stay right there in down dog. You guys having fun? Oh. Oh, my camera crew's loving this. They're loving it. watching me suffer. Oh. Oh. Inhale, bend the knees, gaze up. Exhale, push down on the blocks and vault the hips up. Inhale, blocks overhead. Sit and squeeze. High compression on the blocks. See how my fingers are spread wide? Ha! Ah. Ha! Ah. I'm not gripping, I'm compressing. Isometric contraction. Use an exhale, stand up. Watch the box. Parallel the chin. Squeeze that thigh block. Watch the breath here. And slowly lateral read to the side. The elbows are going to want to bend. Don't let them. Keep the length. Want to keep squeezing that thigh block. Turn the thighs in. Look down over that left outer edge of the foot. Feet straight ahead and slowly turn the heart over the left. Inhale to elegant posture. Breathe here. Notice I am spinning my hips square towards you. Meanwhile, my torso is completely torqued over toward the left. Deep nasal breathing here if you can. Inhale, draw the chin. Draw the blocks toward the chest. Exhale, extend. <sighs> Inhale here. Exhale. <sighs> I need your hips to be squared toward the front. <sighs> Hold extended position. <sighs> Elegant spine here. <sighs> now take the gaze between the crease and the blocks. <sighs> Keep looking at that crease. <sighs> <sighs> Lateral spinal flexibility is the first type of flexibility to be lost here. Now take the gaze to the front of the room. The breath might be rapid here, that's okay. It's all the deep compression on the organs here. That's what's going to keep them spongy and soft and functioning into your older age. Inhale, lift up. Namaste. Next side. Inhale up. Hmm. Mm, it's like you're in a narrow doorway here. Turn your heart toward the sky. Keep the hips square. Now take the gaze over the right. Turn the toes forward if they've slipped. And then slowly spin the heart over the right foot. Oh man. 
Look at the length here. Now watch my posture. As I inhale, come up elegant spine. It's like you're offering a platter of flowers toward the beloved. Beautiful posture here. Inhale, exhale. Huh. Hmm. This is working the ilicus, the iliopsoas, and all of those deeper hmm. iliopsoas complex in the hips. Hmm. No one trains like this. You just won't find this anywhere else but here. Take the gaze onto the crease and turn the heart. On. Elbows long. Okay. Look forward. Oh, man. Hmm. 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 Inhale, lift up. Exhale, namaste. Hmm. Stay there. I'm going to switch perspective on you. Come on. Look down. Inhale, blocks overhead. One. Now present that frontal thigh block toward the earth. That is, take the pubic rim and slowly invite the pubic rim, compress the block toward the earth, mm -hmm. and then slowly start inviting a bit of a back bend. No compression in the lower spine. That's why I have that thigh block there. Good. Breathe. Mm -hmm. And then slowly release the chin. I won't be able to talk here. I'm in a dark zone here. I got to breathe. Slowly come up, chin to chest. Namaste. Inhale up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, fingertips to the blocks, flatten the spine. Spin the thigh bones. Stay here, breathe. Exhale, forward fold. Hmm. Inhale, lift the arms overhead. And exhale, namaste. Hmm. Inhale up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, namaste. Good. This time, inhale up. Exhale, swan dive down. One. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale, bend the knees, push down on the blocks, and take the feet back to low chaturanga. My upper arm bone is parallel. Inhale, bring yourself to plank, and exhale, bend the down dog. Breathe. This is called the prop vinyasa. I'm gonna do a few rounds here. Try to synchronize the breath with the movement as best as possible. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, jump up. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, extend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lift. Exhale, jump back. Low chaturanga. Inhale, press plank. Exhale, bend down dog. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, long, exhale. Inhale, lift, exhale, jump back. Inhale, bring plank, exhale, down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, hold and breathe. Staccato technique for 10 seconds up top here. Ha! 10 seconds of push-ups, go. It's the exhale down, inhale up. Hold top. Push ups, exhale down, inhales up. Plank. Ten seconds, push-ups. 
Good. Down dog. Inhale, bend. Exhale, jump. Inhale, chair pose. Breathe. Ten seconds of squats. Hold down low. Ten seconds of squats. Down low. If you, those of you want more, lift the heels high. Heels down. Squats. One. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, jump back. Inhale, plank. Ten seconds of push ups. Go. And back to down dog and breathe. Remove that thigh block. Take the right leg up into the air. Calf raises on the left. Hold the top position. Knee to noses. Watch how my spine rounds in the top. Exhale. Inhale up. Good. Back to calf raises. One. One. If you're fatiguing in these, use your other leg. One. Oh, man. One. Oh. 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 Hold top position. One. Now do knee pulses like this. Good. Right foot through. Deep lunge. Arms out to the side. Breathe. Hold there. Breathe. Bring the blocks overhead. Reach and get long. Get the torso off that thigh. Let your right sit bone point at the right heel. Keep the depth of the lunge. Keep the depth of the lunge. Keep the depth of the lunge. Rise. Inhale the blocks to the back of the head. And exhale, extend. Can't be long enough through that rear leg. Exhale, swan dive down, step back, push ups, 10 seconds. Back to down dog. Who needs a gym, right? Left leg up, calf raises on the right. I'm giving you a front view now. Just raise and lower that right heel. Oh man. Hold top position. Knee to nose. Good. Keep moving. Keep moving. Knee to nose, knee, knee to nose. Good. Back to calf raises. One. Oh, man. Oh. Again, if the 
calf is fatiguing, use the left toe and lift up and down, self-assisted calf raises. Oh man, totally torched. Oh, right now I'm thinking about all the sports I do. I need to have really strong ankles so I don't sprain my ankle. One, and I'm getting them in these prop workouts. Hold top position, and now do these little knee pulses. Oh, the fantastic for telemark skiing. Oh, oh, oh. Challenge with that. Just make sure the knee goes over the toe. Uh, 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 look up. Exhale through. Oh, deep lunge. Breathe. Stay there. Our blocks out to the side. Oh, and bring them over. Up in front. Inhale to the chest. Exhale still. Hold one. Whew. Top of the left thigh is parallel. Here, wait, stay there. I'm going to show you. One. one. Okay, top of the left thigh parallel. See? One. Now don't lose the depth there. And inhale, rise. Inhale to the back. Exhale, swan dive down, step back, flank. Push ups, baby. How bad you want it. Good. Bend the down dog. One, breathe. One. Standing up here. One. You stay in down dog. One. Can you see how pumped the chest is? Can you see that? See, I'm not in a gym. Look at that. I'm not even a bodybuilder. I'm a yogi, high performance yogi. It's a functional body. Huge strength training here. One. Huh. One. Huh. Oh, man. I feel just like I'm in the gym getting pumped, baby. I love these workouts. One. Okay, hold on for dear life on these, baby. Here we go. Inhale, bend. Exhale, jump up halfway. Feet shoulder width. One block out in front. Bear squat. Now look it. I'm pulling this block apart. I'm going to give you a side angle here so you can see the depth that I need from you right now. Okay. Look, top of thigh parallel. Breathe here. Now pull that upper, this block in part here. So it's a compound movement. Upper body and lower body. Good, breathe. Anybody want to go skiing? Good. Get that other block, and we'll turn those into your ski poles. You're in a downhill tuck. Okay? You gotta look forward. I know you wanna look down, and I know you wanna collapse. Uh uh. Breathe. Good. Find that right leg and shift over onto the right thigh. Oh, man. Whew. Uh. Some of you might even be able to lift that left foot. Who knows? You never know until you try. Thighs burning. Breathe. Downhill squat. Most World Cup downhills, sometimes eight minutes in length. If we haven't even been here a minute, come on, we can do this. Hmm. Hmm. Left. Oh, man. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I don't care if you vomit. Just get back to practice as soon as you can. Come on, you won't die. Hmm. 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 Left thigh. Hmm. Back center. Hmm. Blocks down. Hmm. Heel toe, heel toe. Walk the feet wide. Inhale, flat spine. Hmm. Exhale, push down the box. Hmm. Breathe here. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Little bit of a recovery here. Hmm. Those of you that want more work, and if you're trained advanced in yoga or intermediate advanced, you can just take the top of the head down, use the blocks, 
and slowly just start working with the feet, lifting away. And then you can open one hip joint and then the other, bringing Mula Bandha on. Into Shoshasana. That'll lower the heart rate. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, heel toe, heel toe, walk the feet together. Turn the blocks like towers. Take the left foot forward, rear foot and back. I call these thumpers into telemark jumps. Don't worry, the workout's only an hour. You can keep up with the old man for, uh, let's say, 20 more minutes. I know you can. Here we go, telemark thumpers first. It looks crazy, it looks ugly. And that is a true determiner of hip strength right there. Try to hover it for a moment. Good. Telemark jumps now. Stick the right foot in front. Thumpers. Try to stick. Telemark jumps. Aren't you glad we do cardiovascular training? You can't do this stuff unless your CV fitness is online. Stop up front. Heel toe, heel toe, walk the feet together. Find the right leg, find the right leg and lift her up. I'm gonna give you a rear view so you can see what's happening. Right leg, directly out to the side. It might only get this far, that's quite all right. But keep working that hip strength. Now don't let this foot go back, do you know what I mean? Keep it flush, parallel as possible. Good, look over at that right foot and bend the right knee. Try to get that right heel toward the right glute. Good. And exhale. It's like a slow motion karate kick. Oh, baby. Keep moving. Keep moving. I'm switching directions so you can see. Good. Now, extend and slowly bring her back down. Good. Inhale, other leg up, breathe here, sustain. Strength, endurance. This is all about freeing the power chain musculature. The hips, the lower back, and the glutes. Oh, baby, don't let that foot drift back. Uh uh. You might only get this high, that's quite all right, believe me. I had to start right here. Just where you might be. Oh. oh, man. Now look at the left knee. Work the left knee away from the earth and bend. Slow motion karate kicks as you peel that glute open. One. 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 And exhale down. Inhale. Other one up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Now just back one foot to the other. Very nice. Come to a kneeling position and take the toes underneath you. Use the blocks and I need you to really squeeze the toes under. It's gonna hurt. And deal with it. Two blocks. This is my anti carpal tunnel syndrome movement. Most of the work, however, is releasing into the toes, trying to throw more body weight onto the toes, forcing them to flex. Stiff feet, 
means a stiff body, stiff organs. And stiffness is the root of all disease. Don't let anyone tell you different. You gotta stay supple. You gotta flow. Oh man, click the heels together. I know it hurts. Blocks down. One, and do these. Good. Blocks down, push back down, dog, and look at your glowing toes. Oh, man. Woo. Keep breathing. Slowly settle the heel, the knees down. I need you to walk the feet out to the side. Feet out to the side, do you see? The knees are down, feet out to the side. Move the calf muscle away with your hands. One, and settle the hips between the heels. The hips between the heels. Okay, if that's too much, then just sit on the heels like this. Okay, but we need to open the, the top of the foot. Okay. One. If you're in hero pose, which is what this is called, the bottom of the feet need to be facing in back of you. Okay. The hypermobile people, they'll be turned out like that. That isn't it. Okay, we're trying to get internal stuff operating in our favor here. And then the masters say, this is how it's done. That's how it's done. Don't argue with 6,000 years of wisdom. <sighs> oh, stay there and breathe. <sighs> Purging, baby. Oh, getting clear. Okay, we're going to superimpose <clears throat> overhead presses while you're in hero pose. <sighs> You need two blocks, come to mid position. We're gonna work the upper half of the shoulder press for 20 seconds. Work the bottom half only. These are higher tempo. Notice that my upper arm bone never breaks parallel. It's best if you can exhale on the way up, inhale down. Again, I'm trying to deliver to you dialogue while doing this, so don't get down on me if I'm not cueing you really elegantly. I'm just trying to keep you safe here. Full range. Power those thighs. Out of the feet. <sighs> Nothing like these workouts, baby. One. Oh. 2.2 ounces of foam feels oh. like 25 pounds overhead. Oh. 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 Blocks down. Oh. Oh. Come up. One. Stay on the top of the feet unless you're already there. Blocks like towers. Oh, open up. Oh, top of the feet. Oh, 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 gotta open up the top of the feet, guys. That's what we get for being addicted to shoes. Oh, oh, most lower back problems come from stiff feet. Oh, I'm gonna take care of you. You just have to sweat. Oh, oh, good. Blocks down. Back to down dog. Breathe. We're on the home stretch, guys. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot through. Come down to the knee of the left. Breathe. I need this knee, the front knee, directly over the uh, right ankle. I'm going to turn around and show you that. Okay, do you see? Right knee, right ankle. 
rear leg long. Breathe here. Send the block sideways. And you're gonna have to press down on that rear foot. Follow the breath open. Take the pubis toward the earth. Look down gently and send the blocks overhead. Let that right thigh open, let the left inner thigh open. And slowly look up and breathe. Steady breath. Exhale, swan dive down. Stay there, breathe. Blocks like towers. Slowly walk the right foot over toward that left block. Now open up this left hip. We're coming into single leg pigeon pose. I'm really honestly now. What I mean by honestly is use your upper body. Press down on the blocks. And do you see how I'm using my upper body as a strength training device? And look at how my hips are staying square, okay? I'm getting a lot of sensation on my left inner thigh. And I'm just being patient with my breath as I try to lower closer to the earth. I'm walking my rear foot down and stay supported here. Look at, I'm using my upper body against these blocks to stay supported. Here's what I don't want to see happen. A collapse, see? <laughs> That's not yoga. Use the blocks. Use your upper body strength for something good, like opening your hip. Go ahead and try to turn the left hip toward the right knee so you're swiveling the hips open. Now some of you, if the hips are open, then here's your test. See if you can lift the blocks out to the side. And then up. This is called developing internal flotation. So if you don't have the breath working for you, then you're going to collapse like this. Okay? So take your time. Stay up high. I spent years like this, staying really high, just up in here. Breathing into that crazy hip of mine, okay? So don't push. And slowly come out. Push down on the blocks, respect that space in the hip, wow, and step back down with a whoo, oh man, hold on. See there's no way you're going to have powerful hips and thighs and you can't develop the deeper internal arts until you get those hips open, okay? Hold on. I know it's hard, let's get the other side, we're almost home, exhale through. Deep lunge, line up the knee over the ankle, and take the rear knee down. Now just wait several breaths here, and always trust the breath, that's your teacher. The softness comes with the arrival of the conscious breath. Take the cylinder of the hips and bring them under, folding the tail under. As if the, the, the sacrum was a garden trowel, you're going to try to scoop her gently under. And maybe the block's out to the side. The key is pressing down through the rear foot and surrendering through the psoas, through the uh, upper left hip flexor.
and keep that left knee tracked over the left foot. Chin to chest. And very slowly, invite just a tiny bit of a back bend. And then release you up, taking a steady gaze with Drishti up at the blocks. Swan dive down. Blocks like towers. We can do this. Walk slowly, left foot over toward the right block. And you might just stay here. And trust the breath. And very slowly, sometimes you can kind of make little micro movements here as long as you're moving with the breath. And then we're going to try to close the gap between the left outer knee and the earth. But you're taking this right hip toward the left knee. And be patient. You're creating a lot of space in often suffocated musculature. And look how I'm kind of twisting this right hip toward the left knee, I'm waiting for that arrival of the breath. It's not about going forward, okay? It's about being able to internally float the upper body away from the pelvis so that hip can open. And this frees up Mulabandha and it starts giving you access to the chakral system, the nadic system, the deeper stuff of meditation in the years to come. But the body first must be comfortable with open hips and a strong spine. That's the key. That's all the Hatha Yoga is devised for. And this unique approach using the props. It's like the equivalent of sometimes 25, I swear, regular yoga classes in one prop workout. You'll see. You'll feel. Some of you might be able to lift the blocks overhead. That's called being true. There's no arrogance. You can't be obnoxious if you do this path. The people that are obnoxious, I promise you, they ain't training hard enough. They're not being willing enough to look inside their deeper self. You are. Inhale, lift up the heels, bring the knees down, and swing the feet around. Move the flesh away from the sit bones. Thigh block. <clears throat> Ankle block. <clears throat> and very slowly, inhale the arms up overhead. And with the flat spine, just see if we can catch something out here. And you might just want to tuck the hands underneath the knees, perhaps. That's absolutely fine. But don't round the spine, okay? Strong through the spine. Compress that thigh block. Listen to the breath. Every inhale, you try to find an elongation through the spine, and every exhale, then explore the depth. And it's called a great western stretch, or Pasi Madhavasana. And slowly coming up. Very nice to go. You may remove the blocks. Bending the knees. <clears throat> I'd like you to place one block right in back of the heart center. 
and take another block with you. As we prepare for the resolution of class, a gentle heart opener. Oh, okay, now what I just did there, don't do. Don't turn your neck. I'm just doing this because I'm trying to speak to you clearly. I'm looking down at the body here. Keep the knees bent. You can take this other block, and you can even put this in back like a tower and just support the head like that. And then slowly allow the legs to lengthen and open. Arms out to the side. And now I just want you to start surrendering into the back of the heart. If it feels appropriate to you, you can take that head block down a little bit more. Some of you, if you are open through the heart, you might be able to just rest on top of the head. I wouldn't advise that though unless you're a level, you know, two, three yogi. This is absolutely fine. We're just opening Anahata Chakra here, the back of the heart. Allow the breath to slowly become stiller and stiller. As though your heart was just melting over the block upon which it is perched. And then slowly start allowing your breath to erase the skin barrier. Eyes closed. And just keep breathing into yourself. Until whoever you are ceases to exist. Allow any external distractions to become a part of the quietude within. And finally, erase all fidgeting, all movement of the mind begins to cease as the body grows stronger in silence. Allow yourself to slowly disappear into the pulse, the very rhythm of your essence. Just let go. Very nice. Those of you that wish to linger here, I invite you to do so. Others of you, it's time to slowly bring your consciousness back into the body. Feeling your fingers, feeling the skin barrier again. The heart is going to be open, so let's respect that. Slowly walk the elbows in. Feel the earth beneath your hands. And inhale, draw the chin to the chest. And slowly bend one knee and then the other. And walk the elbows back and come up off your heart block. And please come to easy sitting position, Sukhasana, with the hands in Namaste.
and until we can meet, share this type of work again. Go forth into your day with cleaner cells and a more vibrant strength and a spirit that is grounded and yet able to soar. That's high performance yoga prop workouts. It's been a fantastic honor to share this practice with you. Many more to come. I am all full of crazy wisdom. Thank you for being here. I bow to your beauty and your bravery. That is all. Namaste.